Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trillic video. Really excited to do this one because we haven't seen a Trillic release in a very long time. I think the last one that came out would have been 10 or 9 months ago, so this is really, really, really exciting. Uh, so, they have changed the engine uh, to the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, and Sorry, I'll, I'll explain why it's black in a second. Uh, and um, yeah, they haven't done much in a while, but they're really like, the group's getting back together and they're doing stuff, so then they're just like, okay, here, here's Milestone 1. So they called it Milestone 1 like the other one, but it's kind of like Milestone 1 of the Unreal Engine now. So they're not using the original engine they were using, they're using, um, yeah, the un Unreal Engine. Uh, sorry, I'm blabbering. But yes, very exciting to see. So I'm just giving a quick look at the uh, very, 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 very pre-version buggy very first version of the game. So, you know, there's not much to it, but I thought it was enough to give a review because it's very nice looking. So, um, I think I'll get right into it. I probably missed a lot of things, but um, that's that's all right. Um, so, here we go. Uh, so, I was kind of launched it. I thought it was a bit buggy. So, um, you can see something there. Um, I wasn't sure if it was working or not because it was just black, but then I found out if you push the F, you can turn a light on and, wow, it is quite impressive and it's already a lot better than what the other one looked like. Like, Unreal Engine 4, this is definitely all that. Like, look at the detail of these chairs. I mean, it's a bit laggy on my computer for some reason, but yeah. Look, you've got a window, space even looks nice. There's a nice planet over there. It's like, nice lighting. Um, uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's just, it's really, really beautiful. So, I haven't really checked out anything other than this room, so um, I might continue on. Um, I'm not sure what there is to do. I, I'm sure there's just like, you know, you can just walk around and stuff. So, wow. So, this is kind of like crates and such. Um, there's a weird kind of door. Can you activate anything? Don't think you can. Uh, but yeah, there's like lots of crates, um, some doors. Uh, let's see, can you walk through these? No, they're actual physical objects, so that's really cool. Um, lighting is a bit annoying with this like torch kind of thing, but I think that's the kind of the point for this um, release until they add some uh, light. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, what are these? They're like cabinets or something. Ah, oh, very nice. There's no shadow as well. Um, oh. What's going on here? So, oh, I can't walk out. But that's like a, it's either the, the front or it's like a window or something. Where that's, yeah, I, I reckon space for one looks really, really nice. Compared to the other one that was just like a crap load of stars. Like, this is, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. A bit, it's a bit, oh, it's kind of getting a little bit blurry there. But yeah, that's, I, I, I like that. It's pretty cool. So, um, let's go down another entrance. So, I think this way here. Oh, wait, down here. Okay. Oh, whoa, what is this? Um, there's another doorway down. This is actually quite freaky. It's kind of like a horror-ish game. Uh, it seems to me like a cargo door or something, which is, it's really nice looking, actually, yeah. Um, quite impressed with the graphics, actually. Unreal Engine 4 is bloody amazing, so. Um, oh, maybe I can't, I can't get down there. Oh, well, they did say on the, uh, on the Reddit page that, uh, one half of the ship was actually taken out because it was a bit buggy, so I'm guessing there's some, like, you know, some exciting, uh, stuff going on down there, like, I don't know, some, like, fancy-looking, uh, stuff. I, I don't know, but... Yeah, well, this is, um, I'm already quite impressed. I'm already more impressed with this than I was of the, uh, first ones, um, no offence, guys, but, I mean, they were nice. You could go out and there was a giant planet, you could actually walk around the whole thing, that was pretty cool, but this, graphic-wise, and, like, everything, and the lighting, and this is really, really nice, wow, um, yeah, so if you want to, uh, help, or support, uh, Trillic, you can go over to their Reddit page, which I'll have below, they've got a website and everything, so you can go check all that out, and you can download the latest releases, I think they're having one every Thursday, which would be really nice, um, yeah, uh, the, you know, you can just join, you can be graphics, or you can, um, you know, just all the different teams, So, which is really good, because it's a community project, and it's based off uh, Zero X 10C, or um, 10 to the C, not just uh, Space Game, and I think word that the next release is actually going to have, like, programmable computers and CPUs, uh, like the, uh, the one that Notch was building um, in it, which is really, really cool. So, um, I know I've missed a lot, because I, I kind of just kind of got excited when I saw that there was a new version out, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it, and I know a lot of people have been asking in the uh, videos that we already have up of Trillet to um, review the next one when it comes out, and um, it's been a while, but uh, yeah, I, I told you, I'd get right onto it, so yeah, as of as of now, even though it's pretty uh, basic, I'm pretty impressed, shadows, lighting, heaven, yeah, but um, uh, I hope you enjoyed, guys, and um, I'll try to... Uh, in the next one, put a little more thought into what I'm going to say, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've definitely missed some stuff. Um, I'm just going to quickly try, can I jump on here? No. But, um, yeah, I, uh, hope you've enjoyed. Um, goodbye, everybody.